Hello everyone, welcome to today's math class. Today, look at this question before us here. We have x plus y equal to 1 and xy equal to 1. What is the value of values of x, y that is by these two equations? When I saw these equations, uh, I thought of what could be the uh, two possible numbers. Are the numbers going to be re numbers or maybe fall into the class of the imaginary numbers? Now, if we look at the first um, equation here, if we put in half plus half, that will give us 1. But half times half will not give us 1. So, how do we get the two possible numbers or more numbers that when multiplied together will give us 1, then their summation will give us 1. That is the essence of this video. So, let's go into today's challenge. If you're new here, this is All I Must TV, and if you've not subscribed, do us that favor by subscribing. And when you subscribe, turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified by the YouTube algorithm. Okay, so let's go into today's challenge. Yeah, we'll take our solution. So from our solution here, um, now we're going to take this as our equation one and this as our equation two. Now from equation one, now I've, I've solved a similar um, challenge of this kind. Okay, in that challenge, I need y the subject from equation 2. But here I want to use a different approach, and so I want to make y the subject of the formula from equation 1. Okay, so you can say from equation 1, from equation 1, I want to make y the subject of the formula. So this is going to give us y is equal to our 1 minus our x. Let's give this equation 3. Okay, now from equation 3 now, we want to put this equation 3 into our equation 2. So we can say here, put, put equation 3 into equation 2. So what is our equation 2? Our equation 2 is x, y, right? Yeah, it's x, y equal to 1. So wherever we see y, let's put in 1 minus x here. So this is going to give us our x bracket 1 minus x plus bracket equal to 1. So we can open up to give us x minus x to the power of 2 equal to 1. We just have to rearrange because here we have a quadratic equation. Okay, so we can either multiply true by minus 1 or we move all the terms to this side then rearrange. If we do that, this is going to give us our x to the power of 2 then minus our x then plus our 1 equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation. So, to get our x, we can uh, use the quadratic formula to solve for this. Okay? So, let's go ahead and use the quadratic formula because that is the uh, quickest method to get our x from here. So, using the formula, sorry, I'm saying using um, the quadratic, using the quadratic formula, quadratic formula okay so what is the formula the formula says that our x is equal to minus b plus minus the square root of our b squared minus 4 ac okay draw this way all over our 2a okay so let's continue on this side now let's look at what are the values of a b c from here the value of a from here we know that our a is equal to the coefficient of x squared, which is 1, and value of b is the coefficient of just x, which is minus 1, and the value of our c, which is the constant term, is what? Positive 1. So let's go ahead and substitute into our formula. So this is going to give us here our minus bracket minus 1 plus bracket plus minus the square root of our minus 1 all to the power of 2 minus 4 times 1 times 1. Okay? Everything all over 2 times 1. Alright. So, from here, we just have to simplify this. So, minus times minus will give us 1. Yeah. There, we have here plus minus here. Then, the square root of our minus 1 to the power of 2 will give us 1. Then, minus 4 times 1 times 1 will give us uh, 4 all over 
R2. So we can subtract this from this, and if we do that, this is going to give us 1 plus minus the square root of minus 3 all over 2. Easy. We can rewrite this as minus 1 times 3. And we know that the square root of minus 1 is equal to iota, right? So if the square root of minus 1 is equal to iota, we can bring in iota into the system here. So this is going to give us 1 plus minus the square root of 3 iota, right? Good. Everything all over 2. So we have two solutions from here now. Because we are having plus minus here. So let's go ahead and find the value or write down the value of our x1. So we're going to have the x1 is equal to our 1, but let's simplify this two out there, bracket 1 plus square root of 3 iota. Plus bracket. And our x2 is equal to our 1 all over 2, bracket 1 minus the square root of 3 iota. Close bracket. So we've got two roots to our x that we actually satisfy these equations. Now, we have solved two, solved for two roots of our x, x1 and x2. We have to solve our y because here we are asked to find x, y. So how do we get our y? It is easy. Take a look at equation 3. We've made y the subject of the formula already. So we can just go ahead and substitute for our y here. So from here, we now say recall, recall that we have our y is equal to 1 minus x. That is from our equation 3, right? So we can easily substitute to give us our y1 is going to give us 1 minus our x1, right? Good. So let's continue on this side again. So all we just need to do is to put the value of x1, which is dx, into this place here. So we're going to have, therefore, our y1 is equal to our 1, then minus bracket. Look at our x1, which is your 1 all over 2, then into our bracket. Okay, so let's use the square bracket here. Then 1 plus our square root of 3 iota close bracket into our square bracket. Easy, right? So we can use this to open up everything. So this is going to give us here 1, yeah, minus our 1 all over 2. Then the minus times plus here will give us minus our square root of 3, the iota all over 2. Now, we can simplify everything here by taking a common denominator. So from here, we're going to have this to be this equal to if we take a common denominator of 2 here, then we have 2 multiplied by this will give us 2 minus 2 divided by 2 will give us 1. 1 times 1 will give us 1. Then minus 2 into 2, 1. 1 times this will give us square root of 3 iota. Right? Good. So from here, if we sub subtract this from this, we're going to have here 1. Then minus the square root of 3 iota. Rewriting this, so therefore, we're going to have our y1 is equal to 1 all over 2, bracket, your 1 minus the square root of 3 iota. So this is the value for our y1. Now let's take a look at our x1. Look at our x1. So this is a conjugate of this. Or we can say this is a conjugate of this. So let's look for our y2. So our y2 is going to give us our 1 minus our x2. So if we substitute, we're going to have this to be 1 minus the bracket. What do we have here? We have our um, half. Again, let's take a square bracket, 1 all over 2. The bracket, our 1 minus our square root of 3 iota. Close bracket into our square bracket here. Again, so this will now give us 1 minus if we use this to open up everything, we will have this to be 1 all over 2. Then here we have plus our square root of 3 iota all over 2. Because minus times minus will give us plus. Right. Then from here, we take a common denominator again. So we have 2 
Here we have all of our stable one. So one divided by two will give us two. Two times one will give us two. Then my nox is our equality side here, please. Sorry, yeah, okay. Then we use two to divide two will give us one. One times one will give us one. Then plus our two into two one. One times this will give us square root of three iota. Then two minus one will give us one. And so we will end up having our one there plus the square root of three iota all over two. Right? So let's put the final answer on this side of the board. So we can therefore conclude by saying that therefore our y2 is equal to one all over two bracket. We have one plus square root of three iota. We just have to manage this piece here. Okay? So this is the value of our x, sorry, y2 that we satisfy this equation. So we have our y2, we have our y1, and we have our x1 and our x2. Yeah. All right, so this brings us to the end of this math class. If you have any question with regard to this approach I applied here, then drop it in the comment section. I'm going to leave a link to the um, similar I saw, but using a different approach to uh, solving it in the description below so that you can fully watch down very one and you know gain an insight into the other approach thank you for being there this is all i must tv we love you and we keep loving you to the end of time bye for now